next. Tragedy strikes. Accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. This is 911. Do you have an emergency? Today on Rescue 911. Then, a violent hurricane strikes Charleston, South Carolina. My house just caved in. Now, trapped in the ruins of their own home. Everybody is all messed up. A family struggles to survive. I am scared to death. On Rescue 911. <laughs> home improvement shows have been geared towards guys. And I say, why should they have all the fun? Say goodbye to honey-do lists, because on my show, honey, you do it yourself. Don't miss Tool Belt Diva, Friday at 9. Oh, just watch my show, Papiche Discovery Home Channel. You gotta watch it. Discovery Home Channel is available 24 hours a day on digital cable and satellite. Call today and ask for Discovery Home Channel. T tomorrow. A man is impaled by a tree limb, a tragic spring break car crash, a road rage gunshot victim. Medics in Orlando count on miracles and medicine to save lives. Trauma, life in the ER. Tomorrow on Discovery Health Channel. We begin on September 21st, 1989, as the worst U.S. storm ever recorded, Hurricane Hugo, neared the South Carolina coast. Its brutal winds and rain threatening everything and everyone in its path. I've never worried about hurricanes before, but something about Hugo seemed to be different. The animals were acting strange, and I noticed that I couldn't breathe. I asked my family to come home and start tying down everything, and people were teasing me, you know, telling me I'm just, you know, hurricanes don't hit Charleston. They'll always be prepared for nothing. Family and friends gathered at the home of Lorraine A. Youth to wait out the storm together. Lorraine was keeping a close watch on her 80-year-old invalid Aunt Lillian. I kept asking my husband over and over if my aunt's room was safe enough, if everything in the house was safe enough, you know, because I had this bad feeling that something bad was going to happen. <laughs> Nine o'clock, the winds were so bad that I was afraid that tornadoes were going to start spitting off from the hurricane. So I told my husband, let's go upstairs and get the kids. Lorraine's daughter, Deborah Hayes, and her husband, Robert, went to their kids' bedroom. My wife became very insistent about bringing the children downstairs. She had felt that the upstairs was dangerous. And I didn't think it was necessary. The kids were extremely tired. Preparing for the hurricane had been uh, very stressful and very tiring for all of us. Neighbor Billy Hudson had also come to Lorraine's house. We were sitting around with the ladies just trying to break the tension, but you could hear the outside noises and you could feel the house shaking and trembling. Lorraine, the leading edge of the rain producing part of Hugo is already moved on shore. Some of these are capable of producing tornadoes. This is not the worst scenario we're reporting. This is what we're really actually seeing. When I get my period, I feel huge. The excess body water makes me feel so puffy, bloated, and uncomfortable. I get gentle, prompt relief with Diarex. 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 I take Diarex and get on with my life. Millions of women trust Diarex, the bloat medicine. Tonight, what fuels our sex drive? Biology and hormones lead the way. But now we'll find out how culture, stress, and even the weather can play a role in how we mate. Explore the libido. Tonight on Discovery Health Channel. 
This is much more than a job for me. Sunday, catch back-to-back -back episodes of Dr. G, Medical Examiner. The people I see in the morning didn't know that they were going to die last night. This top medical examiner has critics hooked. Find out for yourself why Dr. G is considered fascinating and compassionate. You're the one putting the pieces together. Dr. G, Medical Examiner. Watch back-to-back -back episodes Sunday starting at 9 with an all-new episode coming March 11th on Discovery Health Channel. Tonight, Loveline's Dr. Drew shares his insight into one of the most popular intimate acts. Find out how to conquer the gender divide between the sheets on Berman and Berman. Tonight on Discovery Health Channel. If faced with danger, what would you do? Would you react in time? See ordinary citizens become heroes. Rescue 911 continues next on Discovery Health Channel. Everything just got louder and louder. It was like a train roaring. All of a sudden, there was a tremendous crash. Everything went black. The roof came in. Lorraine's husband, Kenny, grabbed the flashlight. I came to, it was just nothing around. I immediately turned toward my wife. I thought she was dead. I thought my wife was dead. I thought my mother was dead. Everything you have, everything you cherish, can be taken away in a split second. My husband started working with the flashlights and the lantern. I saw the rain coming in, felt the wind. I felt like I just wanted to get out of the house because I had this feeling the whole house was going to collapse. I looked back at Lillian's room, and it looked like someone brought a big dump truck in and just dumped a load of wood debris on top of her bed. I saw her covered, totally buried in all this debris, and that's when I really panicked. I ran out of my side of the house into my daughter's side, screaming, Aunt Lynn is dead. My God, she's dead. After all these months of taking care of her and keeping her alive, the Hurricane Hugo is taking her from me. I figured she was dead, but... I had to find out, and even if she was dead, I was going to bring her back in there. We just couldn't leave her piled up in that stuff. Roller! Roller! I know I was scared. I was panicked, and I was terrified. But I had to do something to take, take care of my aunt. I had to get on the phone and call EMS. Lorraine's call for help came shortly before midnight. Northwest 911 operator one. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. My house just caved in. A minute, minute, now. I'm sorry. My house is just caved in. The tower fell on it. Hold on, I got an EMT for you. Robert Maxwell took over the call. Ma'am. Uh, my house just caved in. My aunt is a critically ill patient. She's dying right now because she's gotten hit by so much debris. Okay. I've been hit in the head. My kids are hit. My um, everybody is all messed up. How many people do you have there with you? My husband, my daughter, and I got three children and um. Me and my How's your husband? My husband is okay right at the moment. I can't even find my husband. Okay. I got in there finally, and I saw my father-in-law working very hard pulling the rubble off of her. I rushed up and I started pulling the rubble off also. It must have been about three feet from the top of her bed, which was a very terrifying sight, you know, to think that there's a human being underneath this stuff. I felt like I better dig fast because the top of the room is gone. Robert and myself both kept thinking we were picking up pieces of metal and throwing them off, and we couldn't figure out where the metal had come from. Nobody told us to evacuate this area. We're yeah. really safe over here. I understand. I we I were here to protect her and to serve her, and we couldn't get to her. I felt real bad because I was put in a situation that the most I could do was talk on the phone. The hurricane was so dangerous, no rescue workers were allowed to go out. I am scared to death. Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please. 